But when you think about that, it just, the argument sort of falls away. It obviously doesn't make sense. Can you tell me about your paper and the premise of it? The basic idea, it, it, it starts uh, from um, something that Milton Friedman said uh, in an article in the New York Times Sunday Magazine, uh, surprisingly enough, uh, back in 1970, I think it was. He argued that companies should uh, just devote themselves to the bottom line because he, he was particularly concerned with the issue, uh, the question whether they should give to uh, money to charity. So I think it was a time when CEOs were talking a lot about the broader social purpose of companies and um, trying to justify charitable contributions. And Freeman said this is completely wrong. Um, the only business of business was to make money. And what they should, a company, rather than giving money to charity, should simply give that money to shareholders uh, as a dividend, and then they could decide individually uh, if they wanted to give to charity. So he wasn't saying, you know, that charity wasn't important. He just said companies don't have a comparative advantage in giving to charity. Uh, I think it's quite a compelling argument when it comes to charities, but I think people have taken this argument too far. So what we do in this paper is we say, um, Let's consider other cases. For example, we, we use um, these, uh, take the case of, of um, a company like Walmart, or actually this has been very much in the news, uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, I think, uh, change their policy on selling guns. So suppose the question is, you know, you can make money by selling assault rifles. Um, the Friedman argument would be, I mean, maybe some of the shareholders care about gun control. His argument would have to be, um, to just, you know, if it's a profitable strategy to sell um, high-powered guns, then the company should do it, pay shareholders an extra dividend, and then shareholders individually, if they want to give that money to gun control organizations, can do so. But when you think about that, it just the argument sort of falls away. It obviously doesn't make sense because it could be much more efficient. Um, if, if the shareholders um, want gun control, it would be maybe much more efficient for Dick simply not to, or Walmart, to sell the weapons in the first place. Um, or to take another example, think of a company polluting a lake. Um, you know, maybe they can make some extra money by doing so, and maybe it's, um, it's not illegal because we don't have very strong regulations whatever. So um, the Friedman argument would be make the money by polluting the lake, give the money to the shareholders and then let them, if they want, clean up the lake. But it could be much more costly to clean up the lake after you've polluted it than not to pollute it in the first place. So we argue, in, you know, given that situations like that are going to arise, um, shareholders of companies who have pro-social concerns, and we think shareholders do because they're just ordinary individuals and individuals in their own private lives seem to be not just interested in the bottom line. So um, if that's the case, then they're going to want the companies they invest in also not to be just interested in the bottom line. So the conclusion is that this idea, which uh, seems to have taken hold, that um, companies should be all about making money that, and that indeed um, managers, the CEO, have a, they have a fiduciary duty to their shareholders to be concerned only with the bottom line. We think this is wrong, a, a serious mistake. Actually, if they want to act, be loyal to their shareholders, which is what fiduciary duty means, they should actually ask them what they want. That's the loyal thing to do, rather than just assume that it's, it's making money at the expense of all else. <laughs>